Uh, Liam, you're back out for fight number nine, uh, back at the Bolton White's Hotel. Yep. Um, where last year uh, you managed to shake off the uh, COVID ring rust. It and is, had two, yeah. two very good performances, mate. Yep. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with it. But before we talk about them, because I, I just want to touch a little bit on, on on how we ended up where we are here now, because you. Elite is one of those gyms that's full of great stories. Yeah. And yours is one of them. Because didn't you just turn up here about, what, about three and a half, four years ago now? Three and a half years ago, yeah. And and you, because you, 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 obviously you were living in Ireland, you'd had a couple, there, of yeah. couple of professional fights over there. Yeah, I had two. Then you'd not boxed for about two years when you turned up here. Yep. And what did you say to Alex? Um, I just asked, could I, could I train here? Um, and Alex was like, oh, have you got a job, this and that, and he said, I said, no. And he said, right, I'll, uh, I'll get you coaching in the gym full time, and you can train as well alongside that. So I said, oh, <laughs> happy days, I couldn't, I couldn't have walked into anything better, you know. Um, and I'm here three and a half years. My plan was to come here for a year, see how I get on, and then go back home. But <laughs> I just... It's the love of the sport. But you did go on for a little while and then you, you brought your family over here now? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I came over for a month to try it out. Uh, that, was, that was four years ago. And then three and a half years ago I made, I made the move over then. And then and been a very successful one because now you're seven uh, and one, hoping to move to eight and oh. And we've got you one of those guys that's, you know his record's not winning. It's only because he had a good record, and then suddenly he took on every young up-and-coming oh, prospect, future yeah. prospects, and some not even prospects, some who were already there and been there and done it. Yep. Um, and he's been in with them all and given good rounds. Uh, I mean, his uh, Hopi Price, that was a big step up. Ibn Nadim, former ABA champion. Yep. Uh, and last time out, a crazy fight, Robbie Davis Jr. Yeah, it was, it was tough and for him. Uh, that was... Around the same, my last fight, November, yeah. November time. Um, he came out, he put in a good performance. Robbie, a little bit bigger, so I think he got him out there. Mm -hmm. um, well, I think he's the only person who stops him, isn't he? Yeah, he is indeed. Yeah, yeah. 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 Um, but, but a great, could be a great name on your record, because oh, like yeah, you say, those people, I would just mention another kid that not many people know about, but I think will do, a kid called Levi Giles, another very good kid. But. I think these are all slightly bigger than you. So this is, fighting you is more at his weight category. Uh, yeah, yeah, um, So I presume this is gonna be a, a genuine test for you. And if you come through this the way you did uh, in your last two previous fights, because yep. you thought, oh, I can never pronounce his name, but you, you returned in September against Simos. Velasquez, well, Sim yeah. You fought everyone, yeah, you've been yeah. in with everyone. And, and you had a great four rounds against him. You shook off the ring rust. You, you didn't even look like there'd been any ring rust there, mate. It was, yeah. a, it was a lovely boxing performance by you. And then again, another very dominant performance, the fight afterwards in November, against a new kid on the, on the block called yeah. John Spencer. John Spencer, yeah. Um, yeah, I was, I was happy with two performances. Uh, I wanted to fight Johnny Phillips in my last fight, but um, he, he was pretty busy. He was pretty busy obviously fighting Bobby Davis as well. Um, but this is my step up. I, I always wanted to say I want to be somewhere with boxing or be on the right path by the time I'm 25. I'm going 24 on Saturday, so this will be. This so is, this, this is my this step game up. Yeah, so still only a baby. And, and, and this, like you say, this is a, a step in the right direction. Because yeah, definitely. As with all the kids we mentioned before, they're all hopefully going to go on to at least British level. Yeah. So, you yeah. know, if you can put your name in amongst with them lot, then that's definitely in the right direction, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, definitely. Definitely. I'm hoping I'll get a, a title shot somewhere along the line this year. Uh, maybe before summer or just after. Would you go down the Irish route? Is it, is it national title? What's uh, yeah, well, well, there's Celtic. We have the, the Irish title. Obviously, the shows uh, only stand stand back up after about four or five years mm -hmm. of non running in, in Ireland, you know. So the first show is back in Cork in two weeks, I think. Um, so that'd be interesting to see, um, and obviously what shows come after that then. Yeah. And what is your ideal weight then? Super weight or featherweight? Uh, featherweight. Featherweight. Yeah. yeah. Right. Well, listen. 
good luck for the 12s. Like yeah. I say, I'll see you on the 11th at the weigh-in. And uh, hopefully, on the night, I'll be saying, win number eight, mate. Yeah, brilliant. Liam, you take care. Thank you, Liam. Bye. Pleasure.